right out of the gun. Sanders looking wide open. Touchdown. Dylan Edwards. And Colorado marches it right down the field on their opening series. Which started at the 27-yard line. 12-play drive covering 73 yards. Coach Prime's team. Probably my favorite player of all time. I got him in there. I got Ed Reed. I got uh, Montana Elway and uh, Randy Moss. Right. That's that's pretty much that's pretty much my crew right there. You know, I got Ray Lewis coming up probably in the sixth slot. But prime time took care of business. Prime time in Colorado. They took care of uh, TCU. Now, right after the game, my cousin texts me. He's a Nebraska fan. Right, and he's like, "Hey, man, what you think about that?" And I'm like, "Look, I was so excited for Dion that I didn't really get a chance to really break it down on the X's and O's level. I was just kind of like looking at the game, enjoying it, like wanting Dion and them to outscore these people because it just looked like they were just scoring their will, both teams. So I was excited. I was really wrapped up into the game. I really wasn't breaking it down. So I said I'll be able to assess it a little bit more when they play Nebraska next week. And he's like, "Yeah, we're gonna see about that." We're going to see about that. And so I'm making this video to say, to say to all the Colorado fans, look, man, just calm down, right? Just calm down because it's a long season. And when I really, you know, after my cousin was texting me and I really sat down and thought about it, I'm like, it's going to be a real challenge because now Deion's son is ready. He looks like he could play on Sundays, right? Like this dude is accurate. I really like him. I think he's ready to go. He's, he's pretty much ready to go. Um, I like Travis Hunter, but he's a little small, and they got him playing all of these snaps. So I was thinking with, 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 with Travis Hunter, I, I really like him. I think he's all world. I, I, I really like him, but that's a lot of work to have to do week after week. Right, and people say, well, yeah, you know, Dion was sort of that way, but it's like, no, they they, they playing against another level of athlete now. These young dudes in shape, so to do that week after week, that's that's going to be pretty tough. Um, and I tell you this, I think the real, I'll say I'll say this after watching Colorado, Dion kind of calmed me a little bit because. Well, he didn't. He said he was bringing some dogs, but I'm saying, like, Dion really brought a lot of talent on that offensive side of the ball. He came in with a lot of talent. What will be a real telltale sign of his coaching to me is I want to see what he can do with that defense. Now, if he can kind of turn that defense around, get some schemes going and stuff like that, now we talking a whole nother level. But, man, I'm, I'm team prime all the way. I'm looking for them to beat Nebraska. My cousin said there's no way. Um, I haven't been keeping up with, uh, with the college football until this year again, right? Because I, you know, I would watch the championship games and stuff like that. But I'm I'm back because Dion brought me back, right? So, but what my cousin is telling me is that Nebraska got a quarterback. He like Lamar Jackson, and he can run around. So, you know, I just want to. We just need to pump the brakes and let's see what's happening because it's a it's a long season. So. Y'all stick together. I'll be back with some more later. Damn, that shit was dope.